Okay, RMS next. So, second formula, so let's put the values in. So I've now got, it's the square root of all of it. So it's going to be 1 over b again is pi divided by 3 minus 0 times the integration of, so it's x squared, so it's this formula squared this time, 4 sine 6 theta, and it's all squared for that value there, squared d theta. So what I've got to do with this is rewrite it, I've got to square everything here. So what I'm going to get, if I redo that, I'm going to get... So I can, again, pi over 3 minus 0 just leaves it the same, Can't, not take anything away, and I can bring the 3 to the top again. So I'll get 3 over pi. Why do you do that, Paul? Because it's double inverted. So it, it goes to, it flips to the top. If you ever get double inversions, a fraction of a fraction, it goes to the top. So it's a double inversion, it ends up at the top. Nothing else I can say, really. Yeah. Forgot my limits on there. 0 to pi 3. So 0 to pi 3 again. So if I square 4, what do I get? 4 times 4? 4 times 4. 16. 16. Sine, and you remember the other way of writing it like that, to mean it's squared, 6 theta, d theta. So that's basically that dis disputed out, squared. Okay, so far so good. Now I'm going to use the trig identity. Let me do it in a different colour. And then expand it a little bit. I'll go through this slowly. So we've got, we're going to use this trig identity, cosine 2 theta is identical to 1 minus sine squared theta. And I'll be the 2 in front. And let me start then, 2, two sine. So that is identical to that. Now we've got a sine squared there theta, and we've got a sine squared 6 theta here. So we need to adapt this, rearrange this, so we can substitute it into here to get rid of this. So we can solve it, because it's squared, it's a sine times a sine basically, which is not easily solved. This is definitely the easiest way. So what I'm gonna, the first thing I'm going to do is, I'm going to multiply this through the angle. Remember, this tree identity says that that angle there, theta, if that's the same as that one, you get an identical answer, left and right hand side. So if that were 45 degrees, for example, it would give you the same answer, numerically. So if I multiply that by 2, so not 45, it's now 90, multiply that by 2, so that's now 90, it's still going to work. So I'm going to multiply, I need to get this to be 6 theta. So I'm going to multiply both of them by 6. So that will give me cosine... 12, because of times it by 6, 1 minus 2 sine 6 theta. So that now is the same as that, so that's a good start. So my next trick, manoeuvre, is to, I've got 16 there, and I've got 2 there. So I'm going to have to multiply through by 8, times 2 by 8, which should make that to 16. So that's going to give me, I'm also going to do it by minus 8, instead of just 8, because I want to change some of these signs around to make it fit in when I rearrange it. So it'll be times by minus 8. So that will make this into minus 8 cos. Remember, you've got to do the left-hand side what you do with the right-hand side in every turn. 12 theta equals, so this will now be 8, minus 8. This has now become positive, because of the minus sign. And this is now 16 sine 6 theta. And now you see why I did the min uh, minus 8, because it's made that positive. So if I shift that 8 to this side, I've now got 16 sine 6 theta on the right hand side, which I can substitute into this uh, 4 in this place there, put the rest of it in. So in other words, I've got now, 
If I add plus 8 to both sides, I've got 8 um, minus 8 cos 12 theta equals 16 sine 6 theta. Now that there is identical to that. So I can now substitute that into its place, that into the place of that. So I've now got, oh that's black. So this is the bit you've got to think about and there's different ways of doing it and it depends all on those numbers in here. And sometimes it's quite tricky because you might have to do, you might have to do it by a fraction for example. Multiply, when I did minus 8 you might have to multiply it by a fraction to get it to the right numbers which will make the numbers on the left hand side go, maybe go, you know, decimals or whatever, or fractions. Right, so, I've now got this. 3 over pi, 0, pi over 3, and now it's a 16, etc, and I've got this bit here. So that's 8 minus 8 cos. So it's a single cos, it's not a, it's not a square anymore, that's a big bonus. Uh, 12 theta, d theta. Have I got everything? I think so. All square rooted at the end. So if I integrate this, what do, let's see what we get. So we've got 3 over pi, and then we've got, in square brackets with limits on, we've got uh, 8 theta. Remember that, it gains, if you get a constant, it gains the, the variable. So it gains a theta, and then we've got, so cosine becomes sine, it's got a minus sign, so it's going to be minus again. Let me not worry too much about that, it's sine 12 theta, remember what I say, do the easy stuff first, the other function, stuff inside the bracket, then we bring the 12 out and divide by it. <laughs> and we've got an 8 out front. <coughs> okay. <coughs> Let me just double check this signs right by looking at my notes, cheat a little bit, yeah. 8 cos. That's the right one. 8 over 12, yeah. And my limits, of course. Okay, so I'm now ready to finish that off and see what we get as an answer. So the hard bit was that bit really, that's the bit you have to think about. And then the rest of it is just normal integration. So I've now got, I'm going to work this way, 3 over pi. So I substitute in pi 3 into these places, so that's 8 pi over 3 minus 8 times so sine 12 pi over 3, sorry that's the wrong way around, no it's the right way around, sorry, and minus, so this another bracket for that, minus, for well, substituting 0, so that's going to disappear, because 8 times 0 is 0, sine uh, 12, 12 pi, um, 12 zero is going to be zero, so that's going to give me a zero value. Okay. So it's all going to be zero. Okay. So we've got that. Nearly there. So now. What have we got here? So uh, 12 divided by 3 is going to give me 4 pi. 4 pi if you've got a sine wave. Okay, and 2 pi there, 4 pi there. So it's going to be, it's going to be 0. So that's going to be 0 as well. So I'm just going to get left with this term. So I've now got... 3 over pi 
Um, quick little, add a little correction on here. F square root me answer. So I've now I've got that times this 8i over 3. If you look at that, the 3 is cancelled. The pi is cancelled, so I've just got left square root of 8. And the numerical value of that is 2.828. 2.828. Okay? So fairly, you have to think about it, let's put it, put it that way, you have to give it some thought. And this is the bit you have to think about. So, your numbers you'll get from your data sheet will decide how easy or hard it is and what your answer is at the end. So the RMS value of that is 2.828.